Hello and welcome to this Cavco tutorial. So what I'm going to do today is take a high resolution picture, it's actually a high resolution drawing, and bring it straight into Cavco and make a 3D relief out of it. A very high resolution graphic so you can engrave into something like a piece of aluminium plate and this can be carried out in any of the Cavco programs whether it be Cavco Maker, Cavco Maker Plus or this uh, Cavco the main program. So what I'm going to do is just pull this aside and here's our subject matter here. I'm just going to drag and drop it straight into Cavco. Now we're going to set this up to be a realistic size for an engraving about four inches high uh, which is approximately a hundred millimeters in height. Now don't be tempted to set the Z height too high because it will just distort the uh, end result and it won't look very nice at all. So I would say a maximum uh, Z height for a piece of work that's 100 millimeters or four, inch, inch, 4 inches high to be 1 millimeter in Z because this is a very high resolution graphic and we're going to press OK. So immediately Cavco, let me just take this full screen. Now Cavco has already made a relief out of that. Okay. But it is too, shall we say, too complex at the moment. Although it may look very nice, when you come to machine it, uh, a little bit, uh, probably a little bit too much. So what I'm do actually doing to move this on the screen is I'm pressing down the scroll wheel. Uh, that'll sort of rotate it around so you can have a look. And if you want to move it bodily on the screen, press left, left and right mouse key together and you can move it around. Okay, so we're going to treat this very mim minimally. So we're going to come up here to the Smooth Relief tool. Now, like I say, very minimal, because I don't want to lose too much of the graphic. And this will do it in real time. I think... Uh, see, because I want to keep as much of the hair as possible. A little bit more, maybe. Maybe 15%. I think 15% is fine. Possibly go a little bit more, because it's going to take quite a while to actually engrave this. Maybe 20%. And we're going to apply that. Yep, I think that's fine. That looks pretty good to me. Um, now we're going to jump straight in and engrave this. So we're, we're going to accept that. So we're going to apply. And we're going to cancel. So we're going to come straight into now, toolpaths. You can get to the toolpaths either here, over on this right-hand side, or you can come up to here and get toolpaths here. So, you can just come down to the 3D toolpaths and choose from here. Um, we're going to do the whole relief, and it's just a one finishing tool. We're going to use a conical tool. We're going to use a 0.1 millimeter conical tool and we're going to select that. 
Uh, now we're going to come in and alter the settings for my particular machine. Step over uh, that. Now I'm going to go 0 0.01 of a millimeter. Uh, it's going to take quite some time to to engrave this, but that's okay. I'm going to leave that as a maximum step down as one millimeter. Feed rate. I can bring the feed rate up to probably 10 millimeters. Plunge rate, five millimeters. Oh, my, the maximum RPM on my little CNC rotor is 20,000 RPM. That is really all you need to to uh, fill out um, with an engraving of this size. Uh, uh, the only other thing we need to do is define the material. Five millimeter above the material for a home position is fine and a safe position for that matter. And we're going to say this is going to be three millimeter and I'm going to OK that. And you notice that this has changed now to a, a different color. Um, this is now telling, indicating that uh, Kavco has defined the material. So we're just going to say this is um, Test six oh seven. Okay, so we're going to calculate this. Will, might take some time. Okay, so as you would expect. Uh, <laughs> You'll, you'll never be able to see the individual lines of um, of the actual engraving from the tool because it's that fine together. So we'll do a quick and we'll do this fast because otherwise the simulation will take quite some time. Probably two or three minutes if I allowed it to go at standard rate. So I'm going to say OK. Boom. Okay, and it says quick and easy as that. That would be an absolute beautiful etching. And of course, all you need to do now is to uh, you know post the code into whatever uh, medium that you require. So it's. Um, Test and it's um, six oh seven and need to alter that. In actual fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to alter this. I'm because a lot of people ask me because I'm going to be running uh, the SMC controller with this and. G. Here we go. Now, G code millimeter tap is the code that runs with the SMC controller without any trouble whatsoever. Desktop and save. This is a very big code. So, there you are. That is all that is uh, required to take a high resolution uh, picture or drawing in this case and convert it to a 3D relief, make the tool paths, save the tool paths uh, as a, an engraving on a piece of brass 
and I think you'll agree that it turns out pretty good. So thank you for joining me for this uh, hopefully quick tutorial for Carveco. Don't forget any of the Carveco products will do this whether it be Maker, Maker Plus or in this case Carveco the main program. Please like and subscribe and below this video in the video description area you will find a discount code for any of the Carveco programs. So I'm Roger Webb and thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.